Good day everyone, welcome to episode 11. Hi, I've just seen some more. Cloudy in Southern California, yes. Cloudy is the day. <laughs> you know, I'm also, I understand you're all looking forward to, to this exciting venture on seeing Saturn. It is the most exciting, uh, it is absolutely the most exciting object in the sky at the moment due, the, due to the Cassini mission. And believe me, I've been up since 2 a.m. this morning because I'm so excited to show this to you. Hi from the UK, Paul. Hi, good to see you all. And thanks for joining. And just, well, just in the last minute, um, the clouds annoyingly moved in. Uh, I'm just going to show you the weather map. Uh, so you can see at the moment it just says very cloudy, roof is closed. And if you look, it's very interesting to look at the Siding Spring Observatory. This is usually the weather map that I study. And you can see um, it is just very recent. If you look at the first top graph, you can see how suddenly the um, quite a clear sky moved into very cloudy, wet, and uh, it's dropping again. So this can, you know, these can be passing clouds. I've been there recently. It, for just an hour then they disappear again and then everything's fine actually the dew point if you look a little bit below you can see actually the humidity is not that bad it's below 70 percent which is fine despite clouds moving in so no problem there wind speed is also fine and um, it uh, everything would be fine except the clouds have just moved in i can tell you and i i hate to say this but I've had the most beautiful view of Saturn and its rings for hours <laughs> on the screen. I was so excited. <laughs> I was so excited to show this to you. And I promise, I definitely, I definitely will go ahead with this episode because it is an absolute must. At the moment, Saturn is in Sagittarius. I will just show you a quick picture because um, most of you may know that I have been in, um, I, I was in Australia. And it was, it's magnificent. Um, Saturn is very much in the zenith. It's about 60 degrees up, which is very, very high. And this is just an image I took last week. And Saturn is actually, and I will show it to you, very close to the galactic center. It's right there. I'm just going to point the arrow right here. Let's see if I can get both on the screen here. Yes. So you should be able to see that is that, and if we um, if we zoom in, there is Saturn. In fact, that is Saturn. Hi from Armenia, my goodness, from Armenia all the way. That is wonderful to have you on board. Uh, so I'm just explaining these beautiful images. These are my own images I took with the DSLR. You can see Saturn, and what's even more exciting, you would say, well, is this really Saturn? Well, I took the, an image of Saturn on two different days. And look at this, this is quite amazing. You can see, this is, an, uh, this is on the 28th of April. You can see there are three stars there. Can you see these three stars um, in the picture? And they are static, right? These are three static stars. One, two, and just remember, look at their positions, and three. They are static. And you can see between just a few days, four or five days, those are the stars, you can see Saturn has clearly, absolutely clearly moved this way. There's no doubt, okay? So, <laughs> so uh, it is definitely a planet, definitely a planet. So in a few days, we can actually see a movement of Saturn. Very exciting to see that from my, from my own images. I also wanted to say, so we will definitely, um, we will definitely have this episode. I have so many exciting things to tell you about uh, Saturn. Uh, and, and you just have to see it live. It's no use to continue this way, but we'll, we will um, definitely embrace the whole subject properly, possibly tomorrow or in the next days. The advantage of having YouTube is I can see your comments. The stream is very, very clear uh, in comparison to Periscope. The quality is very good. You may have seen even my last uh, stream that I, that I did uh, last Saturday. I think it was last Saturday where it was quite stormy. Uh, the quality was still very good that I did live from Siding Spring. Um, so, 
uh, the disadvantage that we have is that this is an event and so it's scheduled and to schedule things in astronomy is extremely hard it's ex uh, is it it is extremely frustrating to sit there and see my goodness Saturn is so clear I wish I could just go live now <laughs> that's the disadvantage okay so anyway doesn't matter it is what it is I just wanted to make a few announcements that now that I have you here so Soon we'll start season two. Next week we're going to start season two and I've had some requests. Can you show us a little more about some practical things? Can you show us more the images that I took um, myself with my DSLR in Siding Spring are absolutely magnificent of the Milky Way. You know, I've just shown you the one of the Milky Way. There are, there are some that are even uh, much, much nicer than this. And they want to see, how did you do it? What type of equipment did you use? Can you explain, can you show the image processing? So season two will start exactly with that topic, uh, image processing, the type of equipment and so on. Uh, those are the next episodes that are in line. And um, then we'll continue with some beautiful nebula galaxies. And I also want to see if I can slide in, because the weather is improving here now, I show you the sun live, which I think would be exceptionally interesting to show you a live image of the sun. I've done that in, um, I've, I was looking at it in Siding Spring. Uh, I have an own solar scope. So I want to bring a lot of live practical activity and also respond to image processing and things that you may, that may be of interest to whatever topics you may have. Uh, so I'm building up season two. It's starting next week. It will, however, be subscription based. The good news though, is the subscription is really uh, peanuts <laughs> in the sense that all we're requesting is just for the maintenance is five dollars per month okay and and it is not a subscription that is something if you if you say well I've had enough now you can quit okay it's no problem but I would be extremely um, happy to see you join so the Saturn one will definitely still be in the next days that's still for free then we'll be going on a subscription base and I hope very much that you will um, enjoy this and continue uh, uh, con continue with me and along the lines and um, hopefully that will be very educational I bring a, I'll bring in a lot of practical topics as I said on photography and also image processing and so on that may touch your hearts and I also want to um, sort of pre-announce that I'm I'm looking possibly at um, organizing a tour to Siding Spring for photographers if you have whether you're beginner or advanced we can we will do go uh, possibly into um, you know into the wild as I said and we'll do we'll do um, with DSLR we'll do beautiful photography just as I've shown and if there's interest we will work towards that so that we can uh, we can organize such a tour next year those those are my thoughts anyway so uh, that's about all I have to announce. So do keep, uh, you know, do do keep. Um, we'll keep you posted on exactly when I can do this. I'll try and try in another 24 hours. Maybe we're going to be lucky. I'm just looking at the screen here. Let's see what's happening. What the um, let's see what the current weather situation is. It's hmm. You know what? Are the clouds going away? You see that this is so interesting. It's so interesting. Look how the cl cloud cover is going down rapidly. Isn't isn't that fascinating? So it could in fact be that in a few minutes the roof the roof could uh, open again and we we could uh, proceed with with uh, what we're doing today. Now it's very difficult uh, for me to know. <laughs> it's uh, you can see the roof is, is still closed uh, here on this one picture. You can still still it's still dark. It would light up immediately when the roof opens, simply because it is, uh, you know, the moon is so incredibly um, bright at the moment. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just hang on a few minutes and just wait. I don't know what you think. Do you have any thoughts? I'll wait. I'll wait for some comments. Uh, if you just want to wait for a few minutes, but if it gets too much, you know, we can just um, close the stream and try again tomorrow. If you have any thoughts, let me know. Just um, plug in, <laughs> plug in your comments to your, in the live chat, please.
Okay. Okay, so the consumer's consensus, they can wait. If, if, you, if you have a little bit of patience, we may just be lucky. Okay, that's, that's the thing with, with a live stream. That's fine. That's fine. Let's wait. Let's hang on and see. Okay, that's good. Let's, let's do that. We'll just hang on and, and, uh, and, and see how it goes. Um, in the meantime, let me just show you one very nice picture here. Okay, I'm used to waiting for clouds to float away. Very good. Clouds are part of star watching. Waiting is not a problem. Thank you. That's very good. Let's wait a few minutes. Okay, everybody seems to be happy to wait. I'm glad you, you, you have the patience. Just a reminder, I telescope net guy as part of membership, no additional fee. Yes. Yes. That's, that's good. That's good. That's great. Okay, there you go. Okay, fine. So um, I just wanted to show you, this is something beautiful. If you, for those of you who've ever been to Siding Spring, they have this incredible solar system display where going right up from the top of Siding Spring, if you go down, you first see Mercury and then Venus, then Earth, and then comes Mars. And then you get to the bottom of the road. By that time, either in the morning or in the evening, you will have passed a lot of kangaroos on the way too. And sometimes a kangaroo will be standing right next to Venus, if you're lucky. <laughs> and then you continue your, your route to uh, a place called Kunibarabran, which is very close by. And you will see Jupiter next. And then you just travel, uh, if I remember correctly, just past Kunibarabran, and there comes Saturn. And Saturn is, of course, the most beautiful and most exciting uh, planet and it's uh, i stopped next to the road with when i was with pete and i took this picture of saturn i just had to show that to you because it's very very impressive the way they do it and you you continue by the way on this solar route i've never seen what comes after saturn i mean not not that i don't know what plans come after but i wanted to go all the way to pluto i haven't seen the complete route but i have heard that it almost goes to sydney <laughs> so it's quite it's quite a journey um, it took me by the way from siding spring all the way to um, Sydney is about a six hour drive, right? It's a, it's a beautiful drive. Um, I also wanted to tell you, maybe I'll entertain you a little bit whilst, whilst we're waiting. I'm just going to keep my uh, eye here back on the, on the screen. Uh, see if the, just on the live view, let's just see. I'm just going to refresh the screen, just make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, what's the weather doing? Yeah, it's, it's jumping up and down, it's difficult to say. But um, <laughs> I'd be looking forward to this. Yes, Michael, I'm, I'm, I'm so sure you have. You know, it was so exciting when I was in um, when I was in Siding Spring to see to see Saturn right, right up. Uh, you know, at sixty degree up, it was so exciting, and and to take images with with my camera, it was so exciting because I was all alone in in the warm bungalow uh, park at night okay it was it was off season there was hardly anybody there the weather was fine i had a camper van and it was uh, it was really wonderful so i put my equipment there and um, i was lucky when i was there there were no clouds um, uh, and um, I, I i i was able to compose these beautiful images of the Milky Way and you know if you've ever seen the Southern Milky Way it is just so tremendously beautiful I will definitely if if, if there's um, interest I will show you the results that I've, I've I've taken and also how I've done that in in up, upcoming episodes I think I think it's worth it but it was so striking to be there and always hear the noise or the you know the, the, the from from kangaroos around whilst I was there and um, to take these incredible images of the, of, of the night sky, the Milky Way was so incredibly bright that uh, it, it nearly casts a shadow. It's, it's, it's incredible. And it was, it was around New Moon. And uh, it's an experience that one has to have. And when you looked up, you would see the Southern Cross so bright. Um, and then you would see the head of the Emu there. You know, that's the Colsac Nebula. And you would look all the way from the Southern Cross right up to Sagittarius incredible absolutely incredible experience so if you ever want to experience something like that let me know um i think we can we we can definitely organize something very very unique now you'll say that getting to australia maybe is a long way however 
Um, the good news is the flights are not that expensive to Australia. That's the one good news. The flight is 15 hours from Vancouver. However, uh, there are a lot of direct flights. I think from the States, there's a direct flight to Los Angeles, um, Sydney. So it is, um, although it is, a, it is a very difficult time change, I must admit, once you're there for two days, you, you'll be fine. And um, it's best to go, I think, in spring or autumn. Um, from, from, the, from the viewing uh, point of view, it's very good because Sagittarius is very high up. You'll get beautiful Milky Way photography that way. And during the um, coming in spring is very nice if you like uh, wildlife, if you enjoy wild parrots and, um, and, 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 and birds and so on. One can do a lot of um, beautiful wildlife photography around that time too, especially in spring or autumn. It's not too hot, not too cold. And the weather is, well, it, the weather is always unpredictable, but you know, the, um, if, if one stays there for seven to 10 days, you will definitely get a few clear nights. That's, uh, at least that's my experience. So beautiful to, do, to be there. I will be there probably back in, um, in spring that time, which is autumn our time, for some more, some more photography and some more live streaming from, uh, from Siding Spring directly. Okay, so let's see what's the weather doing. Let me just have another look. I'm just going to refresh see how we're doing still it says cloudy now it doesn't say very cloudy hmm see moon is at 77 percent yeah it's difficult when one's not there it was so nice when i was inside in spring i could just jump outside and um, and see what's going on but now we just have to have to use this and ho and hope for the best. I'll just jump on the other screen one second. I'll just show you what I've actually prepared. Um, that's the live. That would have been the live screen of. Um, let me just open the this on large. That would have been the live screen of Saturn that I had so beautifully. Uh, prepared. Let me just see if I can open the Siding Spring Observatory a bit better now that I'm not sure why it's not opening at the moment. Ah, there it is. That's what. Uh, sometimes this software is a little bit cumbersome. Come on. See if we can make it a little bit larger. You can see still. That's the telescope we were going to use. It's completely in the dark at the moment. Open it up a little bit more. I would think South Africa has good southern fear. Yes, absolutely. You know, and uh, I mean, I grew up in South Africa, so you're absolutely right. In fact, in fact, if you go to the Karoo, the crew, or where the where uh, or, um, where the um, where where the uh, observatory also is, it's uh, it has very very good good um, roof on the move. Is that so? Is the roof on the move? Well, we'll. I'm not. I'm watching the live view at the moment. So if this is opening, we would be able to see this. That would be so fantastic. I can't wait to show you Saturn and get started. So let's wait. But you're absolutely right. I mean, I've um, the Karoo has incredibly good good um, conditions, and uh, is another good alternative. The only thing that is is better, of course, in Australia, is uh, the infrastructure. That's for Siding Spring is very good. I mean, uh, for a tour. Australia is better suited because we could go to Siding Spring, we could do the, the, the telescopes, uh, and then you could also do your own photography. It's just very, very rewarding. You would be coming, you would be coming home not only with the experience of, of being among telescopes and seeing one of the most amazing images and operations uh, in the world, but also doing your own images. Ah, it seems to be getting lighter. Can you see that? Isn't that amazing? I think the roof is opening. 
that's why I'm looking at the live view now. The telescopes are getting brighter. Well, well, well. Look at that. Now the roof is opening. Isn't that exciting? I'm just going to quickly... Let's see. Let's see if we get Jupiter back. Uh, sorry, Saturn back. But yes, the roof is opening. Isn't that incredible? I've never had a studio live show like this. <laughs> now I can only hope that uh, Saturn will come back because I, <laughs> um, I have to see you now where the telescope is. So it's going to be, a, you have to be patient with me you now, my friends, because I have to, and that's the exciting thing of doing things live. I have to see, it looks like the telescope went back. Yes, definitely, it's definitely back. So. Um, I have to home in the telescope just to make sure I don't lose it because it seems to be that the telescope went to, back into home position. So give me a few minutes. Let me see. I'm going to move the camera back and then see if I can... Uh, let's see, I've got all my buttons here. Where is... Let's see. There we go. Yes, I'm back on home. Let me just give a home command to make sure. This is just a sync command that I know where the um, where the telescope is um, so that we don't get in an odd position. Fantastic, isn't it, Ian? So, well, be patient with me now. You're going to see exactly how I operate this um, and how I usually bring it in. So we say, okay, done. So now I'm going to take the sky and I'm going to tell find Saturn so this is more fun actually there we go find Saturn okay um, there we go and now I'm going to uh, you can you'll see watch the right hand screen now you see that you, you can see the telescope move you can see it and you can also actually see the telescope move. This is fantastic. In real time, you can see the telescope move, right? And it's pointing more eastwards now. Does the roof make a lot of noise? Um, uh, you know, could could wake the proprietor? No, it doesn't. Actually, the roof is fairly quiet. It's the big by the big way way the the biggest rolling roof there is. And now let's see what the what it's doing. Could be. Just wow, it's pointing right up. My goodness. You can see you can see that. No, the rolling roof is an incredible mechanism, so there are twenty-six uh, telescopes housed underneath. Okay. So now the next thing I have to do is to see if I get um No, that's not the that's you by the way, that's the view I had before. Okay, this is not Saturn now. This is not Saturn now. This is what I had set in one or two hours, so I have to get my camera back going now. And it's probably out of focus because... Hmm. So, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? This is a bit of a problem sometimes because the um, field of view is very small. Now I have to guess in which direction to go. Hmm. 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 One second. Now let's see. Let me jog a bit. And let's see if I can go twenty three seven. Um the question is now which which where do which, which way to go? One second, I'm gonna try this now. Um get my fire capture back. And now I just have to find Jupiter. This is sometimes not so easy. So I will go back. Maybe this is the best way to do it. Okay, I'm going to change back to planet now. And then I'm going to pull up the gain and everything in hope that I will see something. We never see Saturn now. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, because Saturn is in, 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 uh, in Sagittarius. 
I'm just hoping that I will see a uh, just a glimpse of something. 20, you know what, I'm going to go out of focus now. I better go a bit out of focus because I cannot find it. One second. I have my own ways of doing this. Because the field of view is incredibly narrow. So it's a very, it's very tricky. So we are going to go to, let's see. Uh, where are we going to go? Um, let me see. Um, maybe make it 17. Five. Get it a bit out of focus. So what I'm doing now. Let me just see if it's moving. Yes. What I'm doing is I'm purposely getting it out of focus in order uh, to see where Saturn is. Okay. Otherwise, I, I believe I'm just out of the field of view at the moment. Let's see where we are. So to make sure we are on got so many windows here. Uh, let's see, ACP. Top right corner. Do you see top right corner? You know that could that could be. I'm just gonna wait a little bit more till it gets out of focus. I I've, I've put up the gain and everything as much as I could, so um, hopefully we'll see it. Top right corner lies slightly out of focus, really. Hang on, let's just... I'm going to wait a little bit more. Or, I'm going to go more out of focus now. Hang on. I'm going to go to 11.7 and try and catch it with the other camera. Oh no, that didn't work. Sometimes it's not so difficult to do, uh, not so easy to do it remote because at the moment I have a lag. So I'm just trying to um, correct that. So 11,700. No, that didn't work. Come on. Okay, let's try again. That's the focus point of the other of the of the of the other camera. Just trying to get it drastically out of focus now um, to make the circle even bigger. Can you plot so? You know, Jim, that's a great question. We are improving that. Um, we are improving that because the the F numbers F thirty two. We are actually doing exactly that. Uh, going for fainter stars so we could what the roof closed again is that the problem oh gosh thanks for telling me how disappointing maybe that is the issue one second i'm just going to they call it space for a reason yes they do uh video client oh my goodness oh well you know this is not our lucky day okay it's not our lucky day that's probably also the issue I had. It's um, it must have just been clouds coming in or whatever. Uh, usually I'm able to find uh, Saturn, but um, I'm so sorry, my friends. I'm really sorry. Um, I do hope. I do hope. Uh, let's try it again in 24 hours. Um, it will be very exciting. Um, you could see from the one image. What's really beautiful about Saturn is you can see the Cassini division. The Cassini division is this uh, dark division between, I think it's the C and D ring. And um, it, it actually turns out very, 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 very nicely. Okay, so <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> so let's let's try again in 24 hours, okay? 8, uh, 8 a.m. PST, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 1 a.m. Australian Time, and whatever um, I think it was 15 uh, universal time. Let's try again, okay? Um, and let's hope for the best. And um, yes, I'll see. I'll see you then again. And um, hopefully you'll join me. Roof closed due to weather. Yes. If you go back to the, uh, let's just go back to the weather. Let me see where is the weather. I have so many windows open. That's my problem here. Where is my weather? 
There it is. Roof closed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's just come in cloudy again. Yes. Well, thank, and thanks for your patience. Look, if uh, clouds must have just come in, they come in and out, okay? So they come in and out. So so don't worry. I know we also have a big lag between your, between my, uh, I think there's about one minute between the words I say and until it reaches you. So let's, let's not worry. Let's not give up. Let's be positive and try again in 24 hours. I'll see you then. Uh, so I'll stop the stream now and then um, we'll, we'll see you then. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to try every consecutive day. Okay, then it'll be Monday or Tuesday and so on until we get it. Okay, because I, I just would love to do it. Yes, thanks, Jim. Thanks for being there. Thanks for your kind comments. Very helpful. And um, okay, let me just see now. Um, I've got to stop the stream somewhere. And then, um, yeah, I will st I will, we'll start, we'll start a new one and we'll, st we'll send out the links. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to um, uh, prepare a new one out now. And then, um, you know what I'll do is I'm going to send, uh, so do stay, if you want to know when the next stream is coming, I'm going to now paste the new link underneath here. And I'm also going to paste it now. Um, it's okay. I'm hi Becky and everyone. I'm going to paste the link into the, the chat window uh, that we have now. And I'm also going to paste it underneath the comments so that you have that you have the link to you need the new link because it's unlisted. OK, and probably I'll get Aaron also to write out, um, give you the new link for the uh, for for the next stream in 24 hours. OK, so let's do it that way and um, we'll keep we'll keep you updated. I think that'll be fine. OK, thank you, my friends.